Hey, what's up guys? Mark Conley with Daily Soccer Skills and today I wanted to touch base with um, with you guys because over the past month, I've um, maybe it's the end of the season, I'm not really sure what it is, but I've received several emails from uh, parents in particular um, with a, a very specific question and the question was, how do I make my kids more aggressive? Um, and so I wanted to just take a minute and just give you an answer because it, if it's if you get to get like one of them then you know it's an isolated incident when you're getting like 15 or 20 of them then you, you know something's up um so real quick I, I think it's important that we at least define what it means to be aggressive and so when i'm talking about aggressive what i mean is the player wants to go to the ball they're not they're confident they want to receive the ball if another player has it they're not afraid to go and take it off of them and, and you know maybe they have to put in a shoulder challenge or um, put in a tackle so that's what i mean by when i say aggressive and um, I know I've, you know, for example, I, I heard a story last month about a, a player whose mom told him that she would give him $10 if he got a red card. It's, it's kind of crazy, right? Um, like I kind of, I, I see where the mom's coming from. She's just, she's trying to almost bribe him to be more physical and reward him so that he'll see he can do it. Like I get that, but you definitely don't want to be the parent whose kid is getting the yellow card on, <laughs> you know? Um, so I've got three strategies I can use to help you. And so here they go. Uh, the first strategy is it all begins before you even step foot onto the field. And it comes down to your mindset. Um, if there, you know, if there's a 50-50 ball between us, I'm going to go and win this ball. If we have to make contact, I'm going to make strong contact and I'm going to stay in there. I'm going to mean it. Um, if we're defending and I've got to put my shoulder against you to push you off the ball, which is well within the confines of the law um, for soccer. I'm going to do that and so it's it's this mentality of I'm going to do what it takes to win the ball okay whether that's a 50 50 ball whether it's in the air no matter what you're going to go and you're going to handle it so how do you help kids kind of get to that stage and and so that would be where I would, I would go into step two is you know kind of having that conversation you know with kids and you can even have them kind of get next to you and, and kind of bump your shoulder a little bit and and, and push off on you a little bit because there's things that you can get away with and there's things that are a clear violation and so you want to make sure that they kind of understand where that uh that line is um so working with them on um like the shoulder challenges you know going side to side that, that's going to help them become more confident um in what they can use now the third part's the gym and so like it, it, like let's say example if i have a 10 year old boy and i want to try to help him become more aggressive I'm likely going to send him to play with kids one or two years older than him, if not even a little bit older. And what they're, what he's going to see is at first he's going to kind of be timid and standoffish, but he's going to see how they do it. And then one time it's going to happen to him, he's going to realize, oh, that's not that bad. Now I know how to do that. And he's going to bring that with him back to his team. So it might take four or five trainings, but they're going to get there. Um, if I have a girl, let's say she's nine, ten years old, I'm going to send her to train with boys that are her own age. And what she's going to see is, you know, boys are, are, are rough and tumble. I mean, and some girls are too. I'm not going to take anything away from them. Um, but what they're going to see is the way the boys do it. And then they're going to take those skills and they're going to bring them back to their environment and they're going to succeed. So key point here, um, there, there was a, a, a family friend of ours um, here in San Diego. And, you know, his the, the girl had done speed training. I mean, every, every kind of like camp one-on-one -on -one private trainer in the book I mean, the dad man he shot out some cash in 2015 for his daughter's soccer education um talk to him over the summer and he says i don't know mark it just it hasn't all come together for her yet what do you think and i said well have you tried having her train with boys he wanted me to train her and i said well have you before we go there have you tried having her train with boys and he goes no i haven't i said she was nine years old i said Bring her with a train of my 10 year old boys. So, long story short, first month, very timid, standoffish. You know, boys would pass the ball, go push her off and take it from her. About a month in, though, it started to register and she started kind of fighting back a little bit. About three months in, she lays a tackle on a kid, puts him on the floor. But, you know, the, the, the 10 year old boys, you know, being the knuckleheads that they are, and I love them to death, you know. Ooh, got you. you know that kind of that kind of thing like the girl knocked you on the ground and so it was it was awesome and you could kind of see in that moment her confidence just went and um 
you know, she continued training with us once a week for six or seven months. And from that moment on, she was one of the guys in training. They knew that she she had what it took, that she was tough, and that she was going to go. And, you know, she had made her mind set up. She had learned how to use their body. And I think kind of playing with those, uh, playing with the boys that were a little bit older helped her see how you have it's done. And then she grabbed that. She took it back to her environment with her girls team. And I can't make this up. This is what happened. Her coach told me, I checked in with him a few months ago, like, Mark, she's doing great. She's doing this, that. Yeah, yeah, she's pushing girls off the ball. She's being she's being everything that we knew she could be. So over the weekend, we had our awards banquet. Guess who wins the MVP? She wins it. So not that you have to be aggressive and you have to be physical to be a most valuable player, but it just shows that tenacity and that desire. And I give her a lot of credit because it's hard for a girl to step outside of her comfort zone to go play with bigger, stronger, faster boys. But she did that. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy at the beginning. It wasn't easy in the middle. It wasn't easy at the end. But she overcame. And you know, that's kind of what it's all about. And I was happy she got a reward. So well deserved. All right, guys. Um, got a couple more questions I'm going to answer in the next couple of emails. You know, we're, we're getting ready to ramp up for this 15-day uh, uh, video program. I'm really excited about it. It's, it's, it's a training that is really going to help you guys take your craft over the top in terms of you know, coming home every day and just having... 15 to 30 minutes of trainings lined up for you and so I'll tell you a little bit more about how I set this up in future episodes but you know for now just concentrate on how to become a little bit more aggressive so that we know what to do with those skills once we get them all right guys get out there and train